If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Good morning and welcome to In The Car With Clint. Today I want to talk to you about making changes unnecessarily to your business. Now, we've had uh, a few, well, probably more than a few now, um, changes that are coming from our suppliers, and I think it's off the back of um, potentially COVID-19 and how that's impacted the you know operations of people's businesses and people are either trying to make more money or, um, or they're scared, um, and they're making changes out of fear that they might lose some ground or that they might um, lose some market share or they might it's generally money driven so profit um, and we've seen people making changes in the market against my in my opinion any, any necessity to make those changes which comes back to my title of if it ain't broke don't fix it because so much time can be spent by business owners and entrepreneurs um, you know looking at data and analyzing shit and then making these micro changes or macro changes in some cases when they don't need to be changed and sometimes I feel like it's just to justify their role um, and that you know you get some people working in positions where um, they have to do something otherwise you know do that are they really needed in the, in the organization and a lot of the times the the decisions that they make are tied to um, KPIs that may not be in the interest of the best of, of the business and I've talked about KPIs before um, you know make sure you KPI well because you'll get what you deserve or you get what you ask for but for, for day to day operations of your business I encourage you just be careful how many knobs you start tweaking and how many levers you start pulling because a lot of times um, as business owners and managers, we can go in and make changes to things that aren't broken, and in doing so, you'll actually break it. And you know, for the landscape community, this could be um, you know splitting uh, splitting groups up that have been working together um, because you think that that one person might be talking too much on site, or that you know putting different people on different sites because you think that you know a change is as good as a holiday. But in some cases. You know things are working and these people are happy together and you shouldn't be disruptive of that you know there's products that that work really really well and it's hard because I don't want to encourage you to stop innovating you know I want you guys to make sure that you are um, continually trying to improve the way you do things but just be really really careful around what changes you're making because sometimes and it's really hard to know and sometimes you're only gonna learn after you do it when you change something you're not fixing it you're actually breaking it. So yeah, that's it. Be careful what you change in your business. That is it for In The Car With Clint today. Um, hopefully that helps someone. Hopefully that maybe shines a light on something that you were about to change in your business that you don't maybe need to. Um, and that you might be able to concentrate on some other things that might be um, better use of your time. Thanks for tuning in. If you're enjoying the content, please don't hesitate to hit the like button or share it maybe with someone who you think maybe just spends a little bit too much time changing things and not enough time doing things. Um, see you tomorrow. Be kind to each other. Thanks for tuning in.